bright-eyed and raring to go, best describes the 100 Fulbright English Teaching Assistants ETAs who have volunteered to spend the next 10 months fostering a strong command and a love for the English language among primary and secondary school students. In a welcoming ceremony held recently by the U.S. Ambassador to Malaysia, Joseph Y. Yoon, these ETAs will be sent to eight states throughout the nation, while Becca Radquist, who will be sent to a secondary school in Kelantan, says she is going to go in with no expectations. And so when I heard about the flood, um, I was actually feeling really hopeful that uh, I can go into a place that doesn't have as many expectations of me and maybe just expects me to be with them and um, in this time of hardship. Um, so I'm not sure if it affects too many plans with students, but I'm sure it will affect things that I find out when I'm there. Um, I'm really excited about doing sports with students. She says her strong Minnesota accent might be challenging for her future students to understand. And I think it will be difficult for me probably to hear different accents too. And I don't know what Kalantani sounds like yet. Um, so we'll find that out. <laughs> Becca says she is drawn to the program as it is an excellent way for teaching Malaysian students English and also learn about a new culture. Second time volunteer from New York, Samuel Tang says he is excited to return to the land of the Hornbills. He came back for a second stint as he loved his experience the last time. I loved my experience last year. I had a lot of fun. I met a lot of really great people. Um, I made a lot of really close and long-lasting or close and strong relationships and I really want to make I really wanted to make sure I could continue those bonds. Drew Hessen, who's also going to Sarawak, wants to teach his students to be unafraid and be free to express themselves. To let my students know that whatever they would like to do, expressing themselves is welcome. So, yeah, I'm really excited. I've heard that um, my particular school in Sarawak has um, a very high level of English proficiency, so I'll probably get to, get to use a lot more um, advanced vocabulary and um, I don't know, I'm excited. I wanted my kids to debate each other and just really interesting things. International relations student Maggie Nelson, who will be going to Trunganu, says the ETAs have been receiving Bahasa Malaysia lessons to help overcome some of the possible communication issues. I'm going to try my best to learn VMs. And Malaysia is just a fascinating country with multi ethnic cultures and different influences, so I was really interested to come to Malaysia. During his welcome speech, Yoon says the safety and the well-being of the ETAs being sent to the flood hit states is of the utmost priority and that they will be sent to schools that are safe. They want to have a little bit of overseas adventure, but at the same time they want to learn more about Malaysia and more than that, they want to connect with Malaysian people. The program running into its 10th year has expanded to 8 states with 100 ETAs being sent to almost 70 schools.